chi-square evolution problem. And so we look at this problem. Our population has 2,000 red and 1,000 green beetles. Blue jays migrate to the beetle habitat and prey on beetles for five years. After five years, we are left with 1,500 red beetles and 1,500 green beetles. Did the population evolve in a significant way? So now we have to think about is what do I mean by evolve? Well, I'm asking if the population changed in a significant way. And we can see from the numbers, clearly there's been a change in the population, right? So we go from 2,000 down to 1,500 red beetles, and then the green beetles uh, increase from 1,000 to 1,500 green beetles. But what we're looking for is, is there a significant difference in the population? So what we're going to do is we're going to use chi-square in order to solve this problem. And so if we set up a chi-square table, and this part may be sort of confusing or counterintuitive, but when we, our observed data, we're looking at the observed data of the population after the change or, or, or the sort of future generation. That's what we observed. Now, if you think about what we expected, well, we're going to assume in these problems that there is no evolution, that, that even if there's a, a, a change, is a slight change. So we're going to expect basically what we got in the beginning. And so if we look back to the beginning, the starting population, we had 2,000 red and 1,000 green. So for expected, we're going to put 2,000 red and 1,000 green. Then we solve the chi-square as always, right? Um, and then we, of course, add up the numbers. We get 375, and then our degree of freedom is 1. We have two categories minus 1. And I don't even need to look at the table to know that this is a significant difference. But if we look at the distribution table, we look at degree of freedom 1, look at the cutoff of significant difference, it's at 3.84. Our chi-square was 375. So obviously, 375 is larger than this number. In fact, it's off the chart significant. So we would say that, yes, evolution has occurred in this population because there's a significant difference um, between observed and expected data. So hopefully that was helpful in solving these problems. Thanks.